Inside edge. Luck for Sevak. And he starts off with a boundary. Now that could so easily have cannoned on to the stumps. He starts off uh, not in a confident fashion, but he'll get that boundary, he'll take it. That's slashed. Second boundary of the over. And this is why he's so dangerous. Uh, the margin for error with Virenda Sevag in this form is uh, minimal. Wow. This is one day cricket at its best. How's that for a six? How's that for an intent? Brilliant shot. Normally batsmen look to go over the top straight through mid off or mid on, but this one something special over covers. Inside out, little bit of width, not such a bad delivery, but he made it look into an awful one. Just to remind our viewers, uh, Mohamed Sami is fast medium. He's not a leg spinner. But he's been treated like one. Inside out, over extra cover. And the third over of the game. Edge, no second slip, not a boundary. Now this is the kind of impact he has on the opposition. Fielders start disappearing every... Wow, not a cracking shot. Second six. It's a meaty blow. And away goes Billy. And the crowd. This arena seething with emotions. This is a terrific hit. It went high in the air off the middle of the bat and uh, lot somewhere amongst the crowds. Beautiful hit. Made it look easy. This is an easy pace track. 27 of 15. That's cheeky. That's clever. It's intentional. 36 for one. Now Sevak. Four more. In total control. He's toying with this field placing. It's poor bowling by Sami. It's 40 seconds of a six match series. And this is what happens. Catches win matches. And with uh, catches like those dropped. I think he's going to get four for that. And brings up the 50 for Virinder Sehwag. Just 26 balls. So along with the test match, the one-day form also getting good. Good. Tremendous. Great start for India. They won the toss, decided to bat first. He's opened the face of the bat. That's skillful batting from Sehwag. It's not just hard hitting. That's a skilled worker. They are helpless. Have a look. Wasn't a bad delivery from uh, Shahid Afridi, but moved away from the stumps, staying too much inside the line of that ball, and that's why he was able to play that stroke. Great wrist work from Verinder Sehwag. We all know that uh, he can hit the ball with immense power. On that occasion, it was skill, like you said, Sanjay. This time fine on the leg side. Another four for Virinder Sehwag. Knows exactly where the fielders are. He knows where the empty spaces are. He's got the ability to find those empty spaces. 
tremendous batting. He's a psychic. I mean, he knows where the baller is going to ball the ball. And he's always ready for it. Have a look. The ball was drifted towards the leg stump and he knew it where the baller is going to ball. And he was ready to play that stroke. Tremendous batting. Interesting uh, word to describe him. Psychic. There he goes. It's almost like he was expecting that ball to be outside the off some because uh, the last ball was down the leg side. He scored four runs to that ball. So I would call it anticipation. You call it psychic. Here it is. Well, your anticipation can go wrong. But have a look. Tremendous batting. It's just toying with the Pakistani ballers. Playing with their minds. Playing with their emotions as well. Three boundaries. Change of angle. Is it going to work for Pakistan? See for yourself. No, it's not going to work. No. But at least they're trying. That's all you can do as a fielding side. There again. The fielder was up on the leg side. Dhoni has intentionally played that fine. The Indians at the moment just mauling this Pakistan attack. And look at the scoreline 1 1 1 for 1. Suffering. He's gone flying to third man. And there's no third man, so that spoils the over. To an extent, six runs of that, 118 for one. That's gone for another boundary. Bad bowling from the bowler here, Rana Naveed. All he can do is to look down at the ground in frustration, in disappointment. This is not good stuff. Well, that's what happens when you're put to sword. A lot of your thinking also goes awry. This is a bad ball indeed. But this is what Sehwag does to you. You really don't know what to bowl to him. You've got to vary it. You can't be predictable. But he doesn't like it. He knows he sort of slipped up. There's no fine leg in position. But Sehwag quickly moves to 74. I know one way out for Pakistan. Don't bowl at him at all. 74. Strike rate of almost 200. You get into that frame of mind if you are at the receiving end. Right? Only 13.3 uh, overs, but you feel that you are in the 40th over. Because of uh, the beating. Taken. Gone. It's Salman Bhatt who takes a good catch under pressure. And it's Rana Navidul Hassan that has given Pakistan an absolutely amazing breakthrough. Now, Virinda Sehwag has been dismissed. Big news. Just what the doctor ordered for Navidul Hassan and Pakistan. Virinda Sehwag disappointed, didn't get the elevation, didn't quite get it onto the bat. The shot was on. He'd been playing these shots over the infield, came in a bit, off the seam, took the inside half of the bat, that turning in his hand couldn't quite clear Salman but so maybe this will return some sanity to proceedings but Sehwag uh, well a scintillating 74 122 for 2